November 19th, Sunday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2017. More fireballs. Update on the football field size asteroid coming towards the Earth. But first, seismographs. This is something I noticed this morning, and it's just an unusual observation. It's a sign of maybe something going on in Tennessee. I don't know what. These things can be a uh, a wealth of information, much like the the buoys out in the ocean. If you monitor the buoys and pay attention to them, they offer a lot of information about energy moving through the ocean and the sea floor. These things here, they can sometimes malfunction. I get that. Um, but something's going on in Tennessee. Here's one in Waverly, Tennessee. This is a seismograph. They're normally for detecting earthquake energy. But they detect any type of energy. They're not, um, they're not particular on the type of energy that they do sense. But this here is definitely not normal. It's spread out across the entire graph. And yesterday, it was perfectly fine. There was another one in Tennessee that was showing anomalies, and it's still showing anomalies. And I'll share that with you right now. If I can find it, there's the one in Washington. It's still black. Here's the other one in Tennessee. This is in Tazewell. And look at that. Very, very unusual. I'll show you where these are with respect to the state of Tennessee. This is the one in Tazewell. This is the one over in uh, Waverly. Take the grid off. There you go. So what are they? 150 miles apart. Let's just look and see. Two hundred and thirty miles apart. They're in the thirty-six degree latitude. Don't know if that means anything, but nevertheless, you have a seismo here and a seismo here showing very unusual activity. Don't know where the energy is coming from. Typically, these things sense ground energy. They can detect um, energy above ground. Believe it or not, they can detect airplanes that are flying very low, sonic booms, and things like that. But this is showing something very unusual in the state of Tennessee. So what it means, I don't really know. I don't even want to speculate because it could be so many different things. There still are seismos on here that are jet black. New York, I think, is still jet black. Let's take a quick look while we're here. Yeah, New York right here, jet black. Washington yesterday was jet black. I think it still is today. Still is today. Right there is Washington. Of course, we've got the anomalies in two different parts now of Tennessee. Yesterday, it was just one. And there are no earthquakes being reported by the USGS in Tennessee, especially in either of those two places. No earthquakes. So what's going on there? Your guess is as good as mine. Update on the football size asteroid that's coming into the solar system, making a close approach to Earth on December 17th. Nothing's really changed except they have observed it six more Actually, five more times since yesterday. Last observed today, the 19th. It is still a condition code 9, which is a highly uncertain. Uh, well, I'll just read it to you. Go to condition code. You click on it. Orbit uncertainty estimate 0 through 9, with 0 being good and 9 being highly uncertain. So that's where we're at with that particular asteroid. It is 2017 VT14. Over to the American Meteor Society to finish up with yet another, another major fireball entered the Earth's atmosphere last night over Southern California. Southern California, for whatever reasons, has been a hot spot for fireball activity, especially during the month of November, but not limited to November. I did reports back in October in this same area of Southern California. For some reason, it's like a magnet for fireballs here lately. And not only California, but over into Arizona too. The entire Southwest United States has seen a lot. Yesterday was no exception. And you can see the multiple reports from California of this event. There is a video or two of the event. And if you guys ever see one, by all means, come to the American Meteor Society. I'll post the link in the description box below. Click on this tab up here where it says Report a Fireball. Very simple, user-friendly, great website. 
but probably over a hundred reports, another major event coming out of California last night. Here is a quick video clip of the fireball. Looked like a full moon flying through the sky. This is facing southwest. This is MTL 2017. And that's what it looked like. Looked like a full moon at one point falling out of the sky, literally. That was out over the ocean. There have been many in that same spot just in the last 30 days. Same exact spot. Which in itself is just highly unusual. But it looks like a classic fireball. I don't think it's space debris. But the fact remains that there have been probably in that area. Let me just get a map. This area right here has seen at least 10, maybe 12 fireballs in the last 30 days, right in this area. Some big, some small, but nevertheless, this area right here is a hot spot at the moment for meteor activity. Maybe it's space debris. I don't know. There was a very uh, unique event. Let me see if I can find it. I think this might be it right here. Oh, yeah, this is it. Um, long duration event. Some people are saying it was up to 60 seconds long. This could have something to do with some sort of a, a rocket launch. I don't know. Um, but the people that reported it were very adamant about what they saw. And they heard sonic booms associated with this uh, event. This one was out of Oxnard. The event took place at around 2 o'clock in the morning. So this one here was a very interesting event. But it almost sounds like to me it was something man-made. But I could be wrong. The description is something blue and glowing, um, and it just traveled even parallel through the sky for a while. So almost sounds like a man-made event, but there is no indication that it was. So anyway, the uh, fireball activity slash maybe man-made activity is still occurring in the Southern California area. Multiples in the last 30 days and probably more to come. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, be safe out there.